All right, so moving on to section five in this informal geometry, chapter 11, we're looking at similar polygons. So similar polygons are polygons that are the same shape, but they might just have different lengths of their sides, uh, meaning one's slightly larger than the other, but it's been scaled up. So similar polygons, polygons are congruent with their angles, so all the angles are the same when relating them back to each other but their sides are going to be proportional. So if I have a, let's say, a right triangle here, okay, and I have a right triangle and this is a three, four, five right triangle, okay, this triangle and this triangle that I'm going to draw, which has lengths of 10, 8, and 6, those are similar. Okay, so those two triangles are similar because all the sides are proportional we're going from 3 up to 6, 5 to 10, 4 to 8, so you see every single one has been doubled, and then the angles are going to be congruent because of their proportionality. Okay, So it's going to all be the same. So those would be similar triangles. We've dealt with this. This is where you have your AA similarity, your SAS similarity, and all that stuff. Uh, but now we're going to expand it to just polygons in general and larger shapes. And those don't really have any shortcuts like your triangles. They're more you have to kind of check. So let's say we want to find our missing side of this one. And uh, we have our these two pentagons, these two five-sided figures. They're not regular pentagons, as you can tell. They don't have the same length on either one. And so now what we want to do is we want to find the missing side. So we want to find that x. So there's... Uh, uh, the easiest way to do it is just setting up as a proportion, which we talked about when we did similarity. So you can go 10 over 12, I picked one, the first pentagon, is equal to 8 over x. And then from there what you're going to do is you're going to cross multiply and solve. So you multiply down, multiply up, getting you 10x is equal to 12 times 8 is anyone, 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 96. So 96, and then we'd solve for x, so we'd divide both sides by 10. Okay, which means that this length is going to be 9.6, and in this case meters, because that's the unit that we're dealing with, so it'd be 9.6 meters. Now let's say I said this side was, I don't know, um, let's say this side was 12. No, not 12. We just did 12, obviously. That's dumb. Let's say this side down here was uh, 15. So if that bottom side was 15 and we wanted to find x, okay, we'd set it up as follows. We could set it up with uh, 10, oh, you can't really see that. 10 over 15 is equal to 8 over x. You could also go 10 o or 12 over 15 is equal to 9.6 over x. Either one would work. And again, you would cross multiply and you'd solve. 8 times 15, anyone? Anyone? 8 times 15 is 120. So moving this over here. So that would get us 10x is equal to 120. And then we'd so solve for x by dividing both sides by 10, getting this x is equal to. So that's how you find your missing side. You set up a proportion and then solve for the missing part. Okay. All right. And that's basically it from this section dealing with our solving uh, similar polygons. So polygons have to have the same angles, so the angles have to be congruent, but their uh, sides have to be proportional. So they don't have to be exactly the same, but if you scale everything up by three, all the sides have to be scaled up by three. If everything's been scaled down by a half, Everything has to be scaled down by a half, not just one or two or three of the sides, all the sides have to. Okay, so here's your homework for this section.